Hello? Sam, it's Rick. Don't hang up. I have a proposition for you. I promise I'll make it worth your while. Yeah, Rick. You better make it worth my while. I'm going to recall you to the stand. A lot has come out about your relationship with Jason since the last time you were up there. I'm sure you're talking about Elizabeth admitting that she committed adultery. As I said, a lot has been made public recently, and I thought that maybe there was, well, something you'd like to add to your previous testimony. Get to the point, Rick. What do you want me to say? All you have to do is get up there and remember hearing Jason admit to killing Alcazar, or anybody else for that matter. Come on, Sam, you spent a lot of years with Jason. I'm sure there was a couple of times that you overheard him talking about his business. And if I didn't, what am I just supposed to lie? This is payback, Sam. Isn't that what you want? It is recalling Sam to the stand. Now, I'm going to assume that her anger has even intensified because it has become public knowledge that you slept with Elizabeth Spencer. So my advice is to prepare yourself. Sam could do some real damage today. Uh, for Samantha, uh, um, we're too late. For what? Uh, to offer Stone Cold some words of encouragement before the proceedings begin. See, the law-abiding ones have already closed the doors. Yeah, I'm, I'm not here to give Jason any words of encouragement. Rick has actually called me back to the stand. Uh, look, I, I know you're still angry at Stone Cold for keeping baby Jake's true parentage a secret, but honestly, he, he never meant to hurt you. Yeah, well, I really don't care what he meant to do. Look, he, and he only went along with a lie to spare you further pain. I, deep down, I know you understand that. Just like I know you would never take an opportunity like this to purposely hurt Jason. Don't be so sure. May I remind you, Ms. McCall, you're still under oath. I understand. How much does Sam know about Lauren Sonny's business? Enough. Ms. McCall, would you refresh the jury's memory as to how you know the defendant? Jason and I were in a relationship for the past three years. And in that time, you lived with Jason Morgan, is that correct? I did. Uh, in your previous testimony, you told the court that the defendant, Jason Morgan, often kept guns in the house and used them to shoot people. Objection, Your Honor. The witness has already established that the defendant has a license for every weapon in question and has only used them in self-defense. Sustained. Mr. Lansing, if you have no new ground to cover, I'll have to excuse the witness. Your Honor, in my experience, many witnesses often remember vital information only after they have left the courtroom. Now, it is impossible for Ms. McCall to remember every single detail that she ever saw or every word that she ever heard in the course of a three-year relationship. But now that some time has passed, the witness may be better able to recall the events leading up to Lorenzo Alcazar's murder. Objection! Prejudicial! Mr. Lancer, we've been over this before yes, yes, several yes, times. Your, yes, Your Honor, I'm sorry. The events, the events leading up to the disappearance of Lorenzo Alcazar. I'll allow it, but keep it brief. We've already established that the defendant owns guns and has shot people. Some even in your own presence. Is that correct? Yes. Have you ever heard or seen Jason Morgan actively plan to kill anyone? We've become very desensitized to murder in our society. We read about it in the paper every day. It's been glorified in the movies and Objection! The television. Objection! The prosecution is addressing the jury. Stop waxing eloquent and find a question, Mr. Lansing. Ms. McCall, have you ever heard the defendant, Jason Morgan, make arrangements to kill anyone at all? No, I haven't. You can't take your time, Ms. McCall. We are after the truth here, no matter how long it takes. No, I don't need any more time. I have never heard Jason Morgan make arrangements to kill anyone. Really? Are you sure? Objection. 
Sustained. Move it along, Mr. Lansing. Sir, you've never heard the defendant, Jason Morgan, make any arrangements to kill anybody, but you have, in fact, been in Jason Morgan's presence when he has taken a life. Yes, and I have even shot people myself in self-defense, like Jason did. And it's terrible knowing that your actions destroyed another person's life, whether you did it to protect them or not. Your Honor, I, I fail to see how Ms. McCall's testimony in this case is relevant. May we please move it along? Mr. Lansing, do you have any further questions for this witness that actually pertain to this case? No, Your Honor, I do not. Ms. Miller? No questions, Your Honor. You may step down. You owe her for that. 